What is up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix your PlayStation 5 not connecting to Wi-Fi. So let's get right into this. So what you want to do is you want to head over to settings and you want to hover over to network. So we're going to do a couple of things to essentially fix this issue and yeah, let's get right into this. So the way you want to kind of kick it off is you want to go to your settings, you want to do set up internet connection. Now, first thing I would recommend is if you can move over to Wi-Fi from Wi-Fi to LAN, do so. That means basically connecting an ethernet cable directly to your console, that would be significantly more preferable than wi-fi like i have uh my line is in my ps4 hence why you don't see it but i did have it connected at one point just for like testing purposes um that usually fixes a lot of issues errors increases your speed as well and all that other good stuff now if you can't do it and it's wi-fi that's perfectly fine but either or option works with what i'm about to show you next so what you want to do next is you want to press the options button and you want to actually change the Wi-Fi frequency band from like automatic into either uh, uh, 5 gigahertz or 2.5. You don't want to have it on automatic because it doesn't always work right for you. And this could be the reason why it's causing a, uh, an issue. It could be like, all right, the, your router is 2.4, but the automatic somehow choosing five because of some issue boom, you're getting a failure. So that's one reason to why this can happen. The other thing you want to actually do is um, maybe even before that, maybe after it's up to you is you want to actually reset your routers. You want, you want to unplug it and plug it back in after like 30 seconds and give it some time to reboot. And the other is there's actually a reset button back at the back of your router that you want to press for like five to 10 seconds that actually think of it like a f factory reset your router. And it actually even updates the router as well. That's an interesting fact. So and a lot of times it, it kind of resets like port forwarding and all these weird issues that could have happened because you were either hacked or someone changed it or God knows what happened. So you want to kind of be cognizant of that and not have the like you want to be able to kind of do this. But do keep in mind, depending on your router, it may go back to original password settings if you put in some and uh, that might not be there. So you might want to kind of be like cognizant of that to be able to kind of do something when you do do that route. So just just be just an FYI. So what you want to do next is if that for some reason still doesn't fix the issues, you want to click into advanced settings and in here, we're going to change the DNS. So we're going to change it from automatic into manual, as you can see over here, and you can change it into different ones. You can change it into this one that I have. This is cloud flares, which is 1.1.1.1 and secondary is 1.0.0.1. Or you can change it to Google's, which is 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8 .8 .8 and 8.8.4.4 .4. so you can change it to either or of those and kind of go from there and you should be able to like kind of you should be good to go then once you press ok you're going to see this like little settings happen it's going to like check it connect it to the access point to the internet and you're going to be successfully connected i'll even do setup uh, like test internet connection settings to kind of show you but like once you're done this portion you can go to connection status you can as you can see i, I am obviously connected and signed in but you can also do like a test internet connection you'll see like it'll obtain the ip address the internet connection the playstation network sign in the nat type the connection speed etc etc like you'll see it all successful uh it might take some time for the speed download upload um it's been a little slow late today i don't know how much it's going to show but anyways point being like you should be able to like successfully sign in do all that stuff and you should be connected to the wi-fi and you should not have issues anymore like i said if you can move always move over to land do so but again obviously clicking on this video the errors with wi-fi you can try those methods out that i recommended a lot of times those will help fix your issue and you should be good to go so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if you guys still have any comments, questions, so just let me know in the comment section. I'm more than happy to you guys up. If you guys over like this video, please smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And that, more gaming out.